Hello. Let's see how we can quickly create agents in Edzer. Here on the Agents tab, we see our agents on the left. We can come and press the plus button and select the type of agent that we want to create. Let's create a text agent. And let's name them Spanish agent. This agent will transform the article in Spanish. We come here, we alter the initial prompt. We say rewrite the article in Spanish and the return format, we, can, we tell them return only the article or we can get rid of the return format and tell it to give me only the article and nothing else. We press save and let's see the Spanish agent in action. Here's a draft. It has rewritten the article in Spanish. Of course, here's the title and everything else. We can do a couple of things here. We can duplicate the agent. We can rename the agent and delete the agent, of course. Let's actually rename the agent to Spanish text agent. We can even name prompts. Let's name this article. And we can add new prompts to our agent, a name to our prompt, for example. Let's say titles and descriptions. And we'll give it task here to give us five titles and descriptions in Spanish. And in the return format, we will tell it description one, description, etc. And titles, title one, title two, etc. And press save. Next time we run, we run this agent, you will see in the draft section that it will draft both article and titles and descriptions. Okay, nice. We see the description and the titles here that we can potentially put in our reproduction. Of course, we can come here and rename the prompt and we can also delete the prompt. Now you will notice that at the end of the prompt, we reference the article and we say, here is the article that you have to do all of that, the above for article. If we do not reference the article in brackets, editor will not allow us to save because it will say missing article placeholder. Uh, your prompt must contain the article placeholder to be saved. Example, write a summary for the article. Basically, this is where the embedded article will be placed. So everything that the whole article here, the whole copy will be placed inside this placeholder here. So basically you're creating a prompt like that. Now let's see how to create a media agent. Here we come and we say media agent and we can choose from the media agents that other people have created templates. Uh, there are a couple of templates, some for Instagram stories, some for Instagram posts, or we can create our own, our own new template where we have a detailed guide on how to create your own template. Uh, and we will link that guide in the description below. But for now, let's choose an already existing template and press create. You see here, it will create a media agent with its own name, media agent three. Uh, let's not re we can of course rename, duplicate and delete here. And it will also create prompts for the media agent. Now you see here, there's a prompt called main picture. They're in the subheader. Let's see them in action. So this is the prompt for the hashtag. This is the prompt for the header, subheader, and this is the image. Here, I can change and add my own logo. Press save. 
and let's see this media agent in action. in this article right here. This is the draft that our agent generated and we can change, of course, the prompts for the draft generation from here or we can come to our smart edit prompts feature here. This is everything you need to know about agents, how to create them, rename them and manipulate them. Thank you very much.